Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the sponsor of today's active self-protection lesson. It's the only ammo I put through my rifles or pistols at the range. Take your time, man. This is zero portion. This is the easy part. You're laying here, you're nice and relaxed. There's nothing trying to attack you. The ground's nice, it's comfortable. You get to lay there, take a little nap on the gun, do whatever you want, but relax. Take your time. Good trigger press, all the way straight back to the rear. Press the trigger, hold the trigger to the rear. Ease it forward to reset, breathe. Press the shot again. If you're seeing a big orange glob, dial it down just enough that you can see it on that black. All right, it's bright out here. So it's usually one more click up than most. You know, aim point drivers, like number nine generally is where they should be under settings at this point. All right, take your time, fine tune it, we're good. So again, this is all real for a reason. This is why my range sessions, my range sessions, be it a handgun or a carbine, I start with a zero. I start with a hard zero from the ground and then I go to what I consider my practical application. So my practical zero, you're about to see. And then you will shoot it so you realize it. And I give you like, I generally shoot it in two to three strings. So again, two is usually a good number for this, um, of five rounds. And this is my practical application. This is my practical zero of the gun, how I mount the gun, how I figure the gun. Now, here's another tip, red dot drivers. Uh, you guys using red dot optics. If you're running traditional mounts, the lower third co-witness mounts, when I zero my dots, most of you are running a little bit higher mount, I flip the front sight up. I use the front sight as an angle indicator to see if I'm canting the gun left or right. Much like a reticle crosshair in a scope, that plays into things at distance. So anytime I'm on that gun, even if it's a red dot, I'm shooting 100, 150, 200 yards with it, I flip that front sight up to see where I'm canting the gun, which will negatively affect my impacts. So I always use that front sight as an angle indicator. A lot of times, even when zeroing the gun with a red dot, if you have a mount that allows you to still get a lower third witness or absolute co-witness. Center chest box, gonna mount the gun, settle the dot, through one right and probably one slightly low left. Center chest box, five rounds. It's on you. So to do the standing, I dialed the, the magnification back to one. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. Very happy with that. I wasn't over confirming, trying to do what Steve said. See it, press the trigger. Feel very happy with that. If it's standing offhand 50 yards. Bye, Vin. Nice. Thanks, man. So you'll see guys out here like this, right? They're getting on the gun and the gun. And this elbow's holding out here. If I cam this in, sling tension, right? Snug. Ah, oh, look, it just. Now I feel it much tighter the buttstock. This stabilize it way more than this. It's, it's as simple as this thumb gets in a rail notch, this cams inboard, and you guys can come here and feel the gun, how taut the gun is, come here. So here, just go ahead and feel the gun up in this area, move the gun. See how much movement is in the gun here? No, there's enough, trust me. So now go ahead. Just, just that much of the wrist, just that much articulation is going to cam this gun in and let that gun sit a lot tighter for you to gain control over the gun and control the swirl. So when I grab that forend, it mirrors exactly how I shoot my pistol. Nothing changes with this hand. The reason I shoot it like this as well is the controls for my lights and lasers are on top of my gun as well. Or if I'm just running a clicky cap on a flashlight and I push it in, it's the same place. I don't weigh out overextend, that's stupid. There's a slight bend here and a slight roll inboard to help control the gun. And it is identical to the way I shoot a pistol. And it's the same mirror image across the board. I told you, nothing changes with these guns. They are identical, just one's longer. But everything is the same, because if you notice the way you mount this gun, it's the same exact body position mechanics as the way you should be properly shooting a handgun. How many saw an improvement in their accuracy in their groups in the wobble mitigated? My status setting up of the gun is this. When I retrieve my initial, my first, my initial loadout, generally the gun is locked to the rear, both open. I feel for the top round. Yep, it's on the right-hand side. That's 30 rounds in the gun. 
When I load that gun, I bring that gun up, I trap it against the body. Taking the magazine, grab it by the base, feel for the top round, insert, push, pull down, making sure the magazine is seated, bolt release, close dust cover, remove magazine, it's now on the opposite side, which tells me there's a round in the gun, and there's this setup for condition that I want the gun to be in. You'll see guys, they'll get in here and they'll start press checking, doing stuff, and then the bolt does that if the gun's dirty or gritty and snotty, and then it doesn't go bang, it goes click. And then you're like, oh, now I need to push that bolt forward using the notch as it was intended to do so, or some guys will start beating on the forward assist. Newsflash, if it's not gonna go, it's probably not gonna go, so don't hammer it home harder, get rid of it, try to get a new one in the gun. I simply bring the dot up, stop the gun, put it on the line, deliberate, all right? I'm looking for three rounds from each yardage marker. Trust the line, guys. Stand by. Bring the gun up. Aim in. And fire. Okay. Same thing. At your rate, your pace, using mechanical offset, get your three rounds. It's on you. It's on you. Go ahead, shoot him when ready. Send them when you're ready. All right, go up, take a look, tape anything out of the circle in the brain, and then come on back. It's not the worst. <coughs> no. Headway yeah. worse. Doing what I wanted to do. Take a look. Go check them. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. He thinks he's special or something because he's on the internet. Maybe we should give him a cookie. I, you have a cookie? They're keto ones. You wouldn't like them. I love keto cookies. They're nice. the best. Nice. <laughs> Send him when ready. Center face. Feel pretty yeah, good probably. about that all the way around, 25 yards. Yep. Shooting all right. Probably hit my target. Let's Probably. watch Steve talk bad about me again. What'd you do? I shot him all in the spot. <sighs> it's the center of the circle. So you need to have better combat accuracy. Oh, okay. So I need you to spread that group out Balance a little bit. Balance of speed and precision. No, it's it's not combat accurate enough, bro. You just you're my using bad. your sights way too much. My, my bad. My bad. It's not working for you, bro. Stop it. It's not working for me. Nice. What's that? <laughs> <The rock Good. laughs>